Welcome to the world of Kdim 3D. Whether you're a seasoned designer or hobbyist, join me as we explore how it works, its standout features, and of course, a gallery of examples. Scrolling down from the homepage screen, it gives us a brief explanation on how Kdim works. The first step is uploading an image or describing your model. After that, Kdim's AI will generate it. To finish off, one of the 3D artists will review the generated model and refine it to make it accurate as possible. This can take up to minutes or hours depending on the quality of your product. You'll then get notified when it's completed and then you can export it to Blender, Unreal Engine or onto Unity. Scrolling down, you'll see the companies they've partnered with as well as the amount of models generated and artists saved hours. Going down just a bit more, you'll see a couple of examples that were transferred from image to 3D. There are a lot more examples that we're looking later into this video. On their about page, they say their mission, which is to use AI to revolutionize the way 3D assets are made, making the process faster and maintaining a high quality standard. They say their approach is unique as it combines human creativity and AI's efficiency to transform 3D content, in a way, making game development process much easier. Onto the pricing tab. It can be daunting to look at at first. The starter plan, which is 150 a month, gives you 10 credits, which is perfect for just starting out as a solo developer. The indie plan, which is $300 a month, gives you 20 credits, this is best for small indie teams. The studio plan, which is if you need a lot of assets created in a short amount of time, is $1,000 with 60 credits. Here is a chart of how much credit each generation would take. As you can see, there are the options of standard, which takes one credit, high, which takes two credits, and ultra, which uses four. We'll go ahead and look at examples to get a better understanding and comparison between each generation. In the showcase tab, you can see there are a lot of models that have been generated. And when you highlight it, in the top left, you'll see the type of generation used to generate each one. This house is Ultra. The shield is high and the mage staff is standard. Clicking on any one of them, it'll let you further inspect the model and see the details showing the quality, height, and the poly count. There's a lot more documentation where it gives you a guide on what you should choose based on the model you want to create. I already have an account set up, but you can click on the Get Started button to sign up. It should link you to the asset page. Here you can play around with the extra features that they've implemented. You'll see on the right hand side that they have details and editing tool. In the details, it'll show you the image that was used to reference, its dimensions, and its wireframe. In the editing side, this uses credits to make changes to your model as well as adding the layer of texture onto it. You can tell these uses credits since it has a lightning symbol right next to it. The iterate feature allows you to circle and make changes and describe what specific changes you want made. This is handled by a 3D professional artist, however all the other features are done by AI. Moving on to the create feature, this is where you'll be able to drag the image of your character and decide on the generation you want to go for. It even lets you generate an image which uses no credits if you struggle with having an image drawn up. I'll go ahead and just write whatever is shown in the generated image. After pressing generate and waiting a couple of seconds, it'll come up with an image. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and regenerate as many times as you want. If you want to give them a follow in their socials, they have YouTube channel, Discord, TikTok, and Twitter. That is all for this video. I just wanted to give a quick tour on what Kdom has to offer, and in the upcoming videos, I'll be making tutorials on how to generate and use their other tools which textures the models, as well as using Mixer Mode to rig it and import it into Unity. Big thank you to the Kdom team for partnering with me and allowing me to test their tools. You can go ahead and contact them and ask their team for any further questions on Kdom. The link to their stuff will be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.